Ronald Stiga Keshere retired from international football in 2019. His last appearance for the Brave Warriors was in a match against Ivory Coast on the 1st of July 2019 at the AFCON finals in Egypt. He has now been recalled to international football by national team coach Colin Benjamin. Speaking at a media briefing at Soccer House, Benjamin explained his motive for calling the former captain out of retirement. The Mercedes-Benz of Namibian football, Ronald Keshire, I've been in contact with him probably since I took this job. Uh, there is, we can talk about a whole book about Stiga. If you see him at training, I see him at training with his club. First there, how he prepares, mentality monster, attitude. He's basically the personification of a leader, commitment, effort, and an absolute prof professional. I don't think there's a player that's more committed in Namibia than he is. The Brave Warriors' first assignment is on the 9th of September in an international friendly match away against Bafana Bafana at a yet-to-be-confirmed venue. That will be followed by the Chan Qualifiers, a competition that will see local players getting a chance to impress their mentor. Among the 43 players, 5 are goalkeepers, 13 defenders, 10 midfielders and 15 forwards. Few additions to the squad were also announced and among them are familiar names such as Petru Shitembi, who is now signed with Kuching City in Malaysia, and Lloyd Kadapa, who missed the last call-up. Blue Waters goalkeeper Emmanuel Emmanuel and Mevin Kasetura of Prison 11 joined the list of short stoppers too. New faces in defense are Wushevera Rukata of Okakarara Warriors and Rambles Tuli Nashikwa, as well as Chula Chula's forward Alfeus Levy and Nehemia Ndengu of Prison 11. They are the new frontmen joining the list of established forwards in the absence of resources, uh, resources for our country, and resources we know what it is, stadiums, etc., etc., we're not crying about that. But I still think uh, the team did well, and, and we're proud of them. They did well in the sense that uh, uh, a high-ranking nation like South Africa uh, knock on our door to ask us to play a friendly game. I think it's testimony to the guys' good performance against Cameroon. Subsequently, what happened after that as well. I'm so relaxed and so calm and so looking forward. I, I can't actually wait for these games to come in a sense that uh, we, we, we have basically the strongest possible team experience-wise. Uh, so the South Africa game, it's a high-profile game in a sense that I think that uh, the whole continent will be watching. It's on a, fr on a Saturday at, at that stadium of theirs. And, uh, everybody that is really, really, really saying that he is able to do that job can get into that first 11 on that day. The team will start training on Tuesday, the 22nd of August. Players will be subjected to a fitness test upon reporting for duty. Michael Ditu, NBC Sport, Venduk.